competition, we already know. Borja and Kozic of Germany took the bronze in the women's. Seven up. Sponsor, Perisic. Brutal. Then Lechikov. This is going to be a humdinger. And then out it goes from Perisic. And the first point goes the Russians' way. It's going to be a spike fest, ladies and gentlemen, if this first point is anything to go by. To 90. That's six foot three in old money. Second tallest on court. Leshikov only stands six foot one. Still tall in real terms. Semenov looks at Leshikov and says, Give me a chance with the set. because Semenov's glance at his teammate was not kind at all. This time gives it more height. Semenov gives it too much power. Can't blame the set that time. The Czech fans are going wild. They were almost resigned to a loss early on in the semi-final. They feared the worst against the current top-ranked team in the world on... Points and second of money. 3 to the score, but here you can sense the opportunity of a bronze medal and potentially also the improvement in the weather. It was teeming down with rain when the Czechs entered the court earlier on for their semi final. Leshikov serves mid court. Here comes Schweiner. Oh, it's out. It's long from Schwein at the error, sends the crowd quiet. We're locked at three apiece, early doors here in the bronze medal match in Ostrava. Just the two gold medal matches to come after this one. Start time on those two, 4.20 here in Ostrava for the women's gold medal match. 5.35 in the evening for the men's. Leshikov is defence, not up to it that time, and the Czechs once more bounce into a one-point lead. The two teams just toing and froing in the early stages. Don't be surprised by the game staying very close indeed up until the midway through the teams, points wise. for the score. The crowd very appreciative of the hard work. All around, really. Leshikov was working his socks off in the backcourt there. Takes everything off it. Can't quite we can't quite keep it alive. Perisic. 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 His third final four. Well, we're on today. Two silver medals to his name. He make it a gold. Finally, well, we're spiking like that, he will. 6-5. The crowd 
gotta love it. The super spike. Here comes the boom. Rings out around the stadium. If you follow the Beach Volleyball World Tour or the Volleyball Nations League, which if you're not switched on to indoor volleyball is a marvellous spectacle currently taking place across the world. Six apiece. The beach is where the part is at. Strava at the centre of that this weekend, this four-star event. Fine, Seminov's there to block, but out it goes off the block. And a point goes the way of the host nation. Seven of again, silence just drops away here on the court as the ball falls down to the sand. You'll notice there'll be noise when the Czech Republic get a point, there'll be none when Russia do. Oh, the odd. Russian fan, that took the touch off Semenov. The point will go the way of Perisic and Schweiner. The weather really is an improvement on earlier. Utterly miserable weather earlier on. Semenov. Schweiner's jump put him off there because Schweiner didn't actually get a touch on that. It was all met. Nine seven. Far from the technical timeout when the two teams reach 21 points aggregate score. We have a additional timeout in the plate. Net and out. Semenov unlucky there. Muttered something at the referee. Six foot, eleven tall, Konstantin Semenov. Timeout taken. This is not the technical timeout. This would have been taken by one of the teams. I didn't see which. I think it may be the Russians who took it. Semenov, six eleven, hails from Kyrgyzstan originally. That man, Leshikov brand new or relatively new to beach volleyball he has five seasons worth of experience only 14 competitions in that time five of them are coming Normal. already this season the 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 night. First, uh... if you look at the career earnings of the two men on the russian side of the net 15,000 for leshikov 280,000 for Semenov, but at the moment the Czech Republic have an extra player, the crowd. That's how the run's gone so far. Three points in a row. For the Czech Republic. Semenov over the net, power needed, no extra energy exerted, 8-10, Russia will serve, oh Leshikov worked as hard as he could to get that ball back, no way he was sending that back up towards Semenov, though. It was too far away. 11 8 the score. It's been impressive today. Leshikov. Into the net, it goes from Schweiner. 
Six foot seven. And able to get the ball over the net on that occasion. And Leshikov very nearly kissed the line on the way through, but instead takes us to a technical timeout with a fault. 12 9 the score. And the Czech team have their noses in front here. They have a three point advantage, 12 9. Service errors, one apiece, Leshikov and Schweiner. Leshikov's just coming then. Silence prevails in the Russian camp. 57% success from attack. Perisic waits to serve. And down he goes from Schweiner. Left hand side as he looked at it. The spike from slightly back off the net. Super spike it was indeed. Lacking a little bit of height with the jump. Sent it closer to the line than I think he wanted it to go. 13-9. Perisic serves. it is and now 14-9 and now a five point difference and the breakaway came earlier in the set than I predicted and it came the way I wasn't expecting I thought it'd be the Russians that did this to this Czech team I know technically the Russian pairing seeded a rank tire Semenov it's an Olympic semi-finalist to the backcourt of Leshikov. 14 10. This is not a player with no form. Konstantin Semenov. 2016 silver medal at the European Championships. 2016 finished fourth in Rio. Alongside. Zolnikov, his partner at the time. The crowd cheering their boys on, 15-10. This is an excitable home crowd, an exciting home team as well. Semenov, lovely spiking into the backcourt. Just bouncing in front of the line. Schweiner beaten at the net. Oh, nearly. Did have the chance to keep that alive, but wasn't expecting it. Can they stay under the glare of the home fans who are mid-party at the moment? And the two players on court are very much part of that. They're instigating the party at the moment. Perisic, huge cheers, comes back. Schweider, seven of at the net. The Russians. 16-13. Can the Russian pairing come back into this? Not manoeuvring Semenov enough, allowing the big man to set himself in defence. Again he sets. 
this time it passes him by. Perisic does the damage. Ranked 21st in the FIVB World Rankings, 2,660 points for these two. 11th in the 2018 World Tour winnings with 36,000 US for the team in blue. That goes out off Semenov. He's saying there was a touch on the net. He vigorously says there was a touch on the net and rattles the net around. He's told to calm himself down. And Acknowledges for the referee who may have been in the wrong. That's fairly done on both sides by referee and player. Well managed by the referee. Now Semenov setting for Leshikov. The block out of play did take a touch on the block out of play it went fine as annoyed 18 14 now Leshikov walks away frustrated with his own actions and he's gifted a point to the Czech pairing. Back off the net, meant he had to lift the ball up and put too much power on it, 19-14. Two points away from the first set here for the Czechs. face of Semenov, the stadium are on their feet, the monster block in place from Schweiner, and now the set point is there for the Czechs as well. Come back and finish the set off Semenov. No, he can't. Not this time. Gets another opportunity. There goes the set. The Czech Republic have taken it. 21-14. That was a lot bigger a difference between these two than I thought there would be. And it was comfortable for Perisic and Schweiner in the end. The bronze medal match here in Ostrava is going the way of the home team. Let's have a look at the action so far. There are the statistics from the first set. 12 attacks to seven for the Czechs. Five errors from them, eight from the Russian pairing. A couple of blocks for Semenov, one coming back the other way. A huge monster block from Schweiner. Join the conversation, hashtag FIVB, to give us your thoughts on social media about the goings on here in Ostrava. The clouds again gathering in the background. Turn for the second set at the moment. The team in blue, the home team, are just a set away in their first ever bronze medal at this level. Seminole with the spike. Perisic. Oh. 
Now to play off the block. 1-1 one, one the score. Perisic, good serve. Semenov, Schweiner jumped very early and showed his hand very quickly to the big man Semenov, who took full advantage. up the point now for 2-2. Schweiner running straight at the block of Semenov and managed just to get the touch over the top of it. Schweiner serves. Maybe oh, kept alive by Perisic there. Couldn't quite do so. Read it well. But just falling away. Semenov to serve. Fine up for Perisic. Through everything and out as well. Lance is handed from Schweiner as the glimpse of sun. One rare occasion of a glimpse of sun today falls away behind fairly ominous looking clouds here in Ostrava fivb.com don't forget if you want to follow all the goings on online from the beach volleyball world tour Perisic acrobatics on both sides of the net and then Schweiner's touch increases the Russian score to 5-2 This Russian team playing beyond their seeding of 24th and qualifiers because of that man Semenov. A new pairing going to work their way back up through the rankings. Leshikov, oh, superbly done. Magical stuff between the Russians to keep the ball alive. Leshikov then can't quite get there. There's some begging and some pleading. Oh, Semenov looked at Leshikov as if to say, what were you doing? And it was the net that took it away from him. 3-5. Perisic. And it goes to 6 3. Semenov once more. 6-4 now. Two points difference is nothing. Carla Borgia made a very good point at the end of the bronze medal match in the women's competition. Semenov, I'll come back to that in a second. Oh, it's gone against. 6-5. Oh, hitting the net. Yeah, you can see Leshikov there. Well, it was a huge spike. Leshikov hit the net. The point she made was how quickly beach volleyball games can change. Where you, oh, there you go. Proof exactly there. The same two points is nothing. And in the blink of an eye, it's back to six apiece. And suddenly the tide has turned. The Czech pairing are the ones in the ascendancy and the ones that psychologically will be feeling far better. Touchdown safely by Semenov. Again, a hush 
falls across the stadium because it didn't go the home team's way on that occasion. Schweiner, space to play the ball into. Leshikov was nowhere to be seen that time. Semenov is pleading with him as they change sides. Grand experience and an exciting younger player. And at the moment, they seem to be being tested in their relationship. It's seven apiece. Himself off. Eight seven Leshikov to serve. Seven offs. Defense falls apart that time. Steiner at eight apiece. The Czech Republic are 1-0 up in sets here. The stadium is bouncing currently. Leshikov. Steiner, back comes Perisic. And off Leshikov's hands, and Semenov didn't even try to get there. There was no effort to keep the ball alive on his part. He knew. You can see wandering around in the... Russian side of the court was Semenov, like he didn't really care. Could he have got there? Well, it wasn't that far away from him. Leshikov straight through the defence that time. Leshikov's happy. Semenov turns away. Very little communication or obvious communication going on between this Russian pairing. That's something we'll keep an eye on in the midpoint of this second set as we head towards the technical timeout. And of course, the heavens open once more. And the point goes the way of the Czech team yet again. 10 9 now. Some words muttered between the Russians, but. Although they're only about a metre and a half apart on court, it. Seems like the distance between East and West Russia at the moment. A vast chasm of distance. Leshikov makes the error again. Mutterings from Semenov again. Not a word of encouragement to his younger partner. The youngster Leshikov is under pressure here. Most of it manufactured in parts by the Czechs and a lot by Semenov's response at the moment. The touch was taken, but down it went anyway. To the technical timeout we go. There is only one point in this game in set two. You wouldn't think so, though, with the body language of Semenov leaving court. Konstantin Semenov is not a happy man. The Czech Republic are in the ascendancy at the moment. Three aces across the game. A couple of service errors from Schweiner. And Semenov. And Leshikov. Well, in frustration. Not being helped by his more experienced teammate at the moment. Best player stats blocked. Semenov two. Schweiner one. Huge one for him. The rain is coming down hard now here in Ostrava. It is lovely weather for ducks. Look at that. I'm glad to tell you I'm undercover. 21 14, 11 10. Who is going to cope better with these conditions? Leshikov. He's being pushed by his partner Semenov to improve, can he? Semenov currently not helping his younger partner. 36% success in attack at the moment for the 22-year-old. Painful statistics for the Russians. 
Great blocking, the whistle goes, it's gone against Semenov and that really could be a turning point here because psychologically he had lost it towards the technical timeout and then it goes against him from the referee's call. And again, the weather, the heavens open. Better from Semenov that time. No questions asked that time by the referee. Definitely going the way of Semenov and the team in White Russia. 11-12, but it seems like a bigger difference in this second set. Spiner at the net. Semenov was there. The pressure was laid. It's 12 apiece. Drenched the players and not in sweat as is often the case in beach volleyball with the regular warm temperatures but instead torrential rain Spider just in only just the margins were the finest it is wet it is cold around the stadium is very much being shown towards the Czech players. Leshikov with the spike, finds his accuracy once more, brings it back to 13 apiece. This is the sort of area where commonly if a team are going to run away with a set, they do so, otherwise it goes very close indeed. What have Leshikov and Semenov got as a partnership? They won a few weeks ago the Mercer three-star in Turkey. Oh, intelligent play. Semenov takes the lead for the Russian pair. Nearly 300,000 US dollars to his name. The win here would take him up to 290 once you'd split the prize money. 15,300 to the 22 year old's name, Leshikov. Monster blocking that time. Not given as such, but trust me, that was super stuff by Seminole. 15 13, the score still level pegging at the moment. The Czech fans trying to make the difference in the stands. Timeout called. That, that shot tells you everything you need to know. The weather is atrocious here. Who can cope better? It's coming down even harder by the moment. Play has been going since local time, 9 a.m. this morning. Now nearly 20 to 4 in the afternoon. Everyone runs for cover. The players look at the court and think I have to return there in a moment's time. Bronze medal. Wait. Look at the run. Four in a row. Russian pairing. Schweiner into the block. Kept alive by Leshikov's antics and then out by Semenov. 14 to 15 now. Perisic and Schweiner. serves Leshikov oh so so close 16-14 I took a touch anyway off Schweiner I was going to say was it in was it out he may have kissed the line Semenov serves vital part of the game this Leshikov better defence in the back of the court for him this time. 
Kovacic. Can only send the ball squirming away. And the Czechs almost look resigned to a third set. The DJ taking a battering there. The power of Leshikov doing the damage. When Semenov needed a calm head and Le Leshikov almost got his own back there, he clapped his hands in disapproval. Inter-team relations in this Russian pairing, not at their finest currently. So it would seem anyway. And then the error from Semenov. Neither player, when one makes an error, offer any level of support to the other. A lesson to young players watching. It's a team game at the end of the day. You act as a team together. If you fall out as individuals, the team loses out in the end. Leshikov, brutal power once more. Again, the DJ is in danger of feeling full force of the ball this time. Harrelson. Takes the brunt. 18-16. Leshikov serves. 18-17. Fine response from the Czech team. Perisic seeing the gap on the left-hand side as he looked. Placing the ball exactly where he wanted. Finer, important times to be serving here. Now, Semenov, this could be huge. No, it's not. The ball's still alive. And then Semenov does what he aimed to do with the previous point and puts Russia just two away from a third set. Schweiner. Schweiner once more sets this time for Perisic who dings. Oh, sensible, sensible stuff. Power could easily have generated the monster block for Semenov, but delicacy generated the point. Schweiner intimidating at the net. Perisic, tough conditions to serve, does well. It goes the way of Semenov and Russia. 2018, now they're offering encouragement to each other. Now the Russian pair are starting to get their act together and act as a team. Leshikov, pressure on the youngster. Schweiner, what a way to lose a set. The ball just slipping through his hands. And you saw there, Perisic just looked at him and said, these things happen. That has been the difference between the two teams so far. However, the Russian pairing have taken this to a third set. At the moment, you have to feel the Czech Republic team would be favourites based on the way they're acting as a team, way more so than the Russians. But Russia take it to three. Statistics from the second set, 16 attacks from the Russians in the end. Well, they just out-attacked the Czech Republic overall. Three errors apiece. It felt like more from the Russian pair with how they acted towards each other over the course of the set. But in the end, they sneaked through. 21-18 overall in the set. And they come out for the final set. Who can take the bronze hit? Semenov and Leshikov or Perisic and Schweiner. In the white, the Russians. In the blue, the Czech Republic, the home team. Schweiner will open up with the first point.
again the crowd show their excitement Semenov, easy point for him there. Nothing more to it than a simple option. Leshikov to serve. Schweiner. Annette, did it drop? Yes, it does. 2-1. Not the time to think in a third set. First to 15. Has to go clear by two. But first to 15. And it's amazing how quickly third sets can just rush away from you. Oh, Leshikov gets the Russians back from the brink there. Schweiner working hard. And then Leshikov once more has to <laughs> keep the ball alive. Semenov looks away. But he can only be annoyed at himself there. Leshikov was racing around like a poor squash player in the end. But in beach volleyball terms, he was playing very well indeed. Touch. Now, overall by the referee, the touch given. Five points. Switch ends. It's 3 2 to the Czech parent. With an obvious touch. Semenov. Short jump serve from him. Schweiner over the top, down the baseline, but out. And Russia pick up the point once more. Perisic, Schweiner, the ball hanging in the air, took a touch and dropped anyway in for the Russian pairing, 4-3 now. Leshikov, successful that time. 1-1. One, one. This is a shootout for bronze at the moment. Neither team has ever won a bronze medal in an FIBB World Tour event. Perisic with the super spike, four apiece. The crowd delighted by the quality the number one for the Czech Republic. Down it goes from Semenov. Again, Russia, important points these, tight times, final set, Semenov, well, Schweiner did superbly not to actually touch the net there, but in the end, it was the Czechs lying in the sand, wishing the ball was on the other side of the net. Leshikov and Semenov with a change of side, a two-point lead. In the air, Semenov races back. Leshikov. And now to play it goes. And finally the Czechs get a point back. Schweiner able to spike down towards the left shoulder of Leshikov. Leshikov 
Perisic unable to get the ball where he wanted it. Have a battle on their hands at the moment to get this bronze medal and thrill the home crowd. Oh. Schweiner. 7-6. Again, the crowd come into full voice. Perisic serves. Lovely cross court spike. Silence again. Echoes around the stadium here. Whenever the team in white have the audacity to claim a point, whether it be luck, skill, or otherwise, silence just greets them. That time, though, the error from Semenov, and the crowd revert to happy cheers and clapping. Semenov. Finished off by Perusic. These two looking for the knockout blow hit at eight apiece in the final set. Semenov. It's up another point. A run here for either team. Could well, mean game, set and match, and a bronze medal around their necks. The first time either team can say that. Both have won medals of eight. Higher value, you could argue. Gold or silver on the FIVB World Tour. But neither the bron bronze medal. Nine apiece. Just the gold medal games to come after this. Another Czech pairing on court in the women's. Slukova and Hermanova. Leshikov. Oh, error from... Perisic that time offers the cheapest of points. The MC does his best to rile the fans into vocal song. Perisic, lovely from him that time, just pushing the ball. On to the line. A spike over the top, though, of Semenov. No power in it. All about guidance. Semenov. Perisic. Sand and the tide has turned. Oh, Leshikov was left with too much ground to make up. And a, a timeout. The two teams are not focusing to do here. Who is going to take bronze? The youngsters from the Czech Republic or the youth and experience from Russia. We met a course at the Mersin Open back in May. That went the way of the team from Russia. The Russian pairing have won two 
out of two against Perisic fire. Winning. 21 17, 21 16 earlier on this week when they met in the pool, and then of course weeks ago at the Mersin Open in the final. That went to three sets, 18 16. It finished off in the Russians' favour. Semenov. Tower. The whistle goes, the two teams slunk over to their chairs to have another conversation. Close to a bronze medal in front of this excitable home crowd. Can they get over the line? Leshikov and Semenov. Well, if they do it, it will be some turnaround. 21-14, they went down in the first set, coming back to 21-18 in the second. Two teams are encouraged back to the court by the referee's whistle. I would not want to call this now, and I won't call this now. A game which has really lived up to the billing of a bronze medal playoff. Semelov, what a time to serve like that. And not in a good way. from Perisic, 12-12. Oh, kept alive, Perisic, Schweider, didn't need to rush, it didn't matter. The ball didn't come back from the Russian side of the net and the Czech pairing take a one-point lead as they switch sides once more. Meshikov. Agreed. Perisic continues. The crowd offering every decibel they possibly can. Semenov. Monster block from Schweider. What a time to pull that out of the bag. Looked at Leshikov there. How he can blame him, I don't know. Perisic. Can the Czechs take bronze? Semenov tries to dink over. Perisic keeps it alive. Can he send it? Schweiner. The point goes. The Russians way the referee would have to something for a touch is apparently well. Right. with the local crowd. Leshikov, match point against a big, big, big serve on the 22-year-old shoulders. Schweiner to finish it, he can't. 14 apiece. We're going to go beyond the 15. 
haven't gone long yet in this match. We will to decide it. and offers up another match point to the Czech Republic. Super spiking. 24 years of age. Six foot seven. Three seasons on the tour. An inexperienced shows at match point. 15 of these. 30 points played in the set. They change sides once more as they do every five points in the third set. Spiner that time can't block and Semenov brings a match point the weight of the Russians whistles around the stadium this won't be popular if Russia convert this but fair play to them they have battled and battled and battled to have the right football given what a time to football the crowd love it Semenov does not anything the official said totally accepting of the decision not controversial at all in that way 16-16 Parusic Schweiner reaches Schweiner can't get there Lechukov takes Russia again and suddenly the Russian pair Exchange words to match point for the second time. Schweiner won't allow it, he won't even hear of it. 17 each. Check off Dukes for seven off. Returns away, delighted once more at 18-17. They change sides again. We're in the depths of a slugfest here in the bronze medal match. Semenov and Leshikov have the lead by one. They have match point against Perisic and Schweiner yet again. Says, no, you don't. 18 18. Super spiking once more. Six foot seven. Semenov offered him nothing straight. But there was the option to send the rocket into the back of the court. Semenov. Schweiner, oh, the pressure from Schweiner, and Semenov gets it all wrong, and he's only got himself to blame that time. You have to feel for Konstantin Semenov here. Well, Schweiner set his stall out, made Semenov go wide, and Semenov got it all wrong, and it's now match point Czech Republic, Perisic to serve. Semenov, surely, yes, evens it up once more, 19 apiece. <laughs> of all the times to put the ball into the net, that 
the pressure situation. So, so difficult. 2019, China for the game, for the match, for the bronze. No error from him. Error corrected for Russia. We switch sides once more, 20 apiece. Semenov. Can he bring up match point once more? Schweiner comes forward to generate one of his own. Leshikov at the net, unlucky there. And Semenov recognises the unfortunate nature. The effort was there from Leshikov with the block, but he just couldn't keep the ball live. 21-20. Perisic keeps it going. Round the side of the antenna. Not allowed. Out of play. Schweiner could have brought that back into play and allowed Perisic to play. I'm not sure why he didn't there. 21-21. Bronze medal still hanging by a thread for either team. Schweiner. Oh, time to monster block for Semenov. Marvellous stuff. 21-22. Match point again. Who blinks first? The crowd almost a decibel or two lower with concern. Schweiner. Not David Schweiner. 22 apiece. He wants the $10,000 that third place offers. 8,000 for fourth. Important tour ranking points as well. Schweiner misses the ace. Offers match point once more to the Russian side of the net, which will be the side of the net that Schweiner served from as the teams switch sides again. Could it be the last time? Could it be the last point? Konstantin Semenov, 29 years of age, born in Tokmak in Kyrgyzstan. Spina gets the point for 23 apiece. This is going to go on all night. Perisic, two serves away. Semenov, denied by Perisic, here's the chance for the Czech team, can they take it? Not on that occasion, now Schweiner for Perisic once more, on that occasion they can. Match point again for the Czech Republic. Perisic turns away and asks some more from the home crowd. Judgment from the Russian pairing. 24 apiece. Two points of quality from one of these two pairs to take home bronze here in Australia. Schweiner. Leshikov still alive. Still on the Russian side of the net. And just on the line. And Semenov. And Leshikov together breathe a huge sigh of relief there because that was a messy, innovative point and just, just, just. Leshikov, the last match point he had, he put it straight into the net. Not this time. 
if that had been left alone by Schweiner, it was drifting out. It drifts, Semenov takes it, and there goes the game. The match is done and dusted. Leshikov and Semenov, well, they look like the worst of enemies halfway through that match, but eventually they take the third set, 26 24. It went very, very long indeed. But the Russian pair take their first ever bronze medal.